In this show, we're going to show you how to find the area of triangles. Also, a couple different ways to model them, and a couple little tips and tricks to help you out. Coming up next. Hi, this is Todd with The Land of Math, where we give you tips, advice, and strategies to help you help kids with math. Today we're going to be talking about triangles and finding the area of triangles. Coming up next. Two terms we use a lot with triangles is base and height. In this right triangle, you can see our base is in blue. It's like the resting point or the bottom of the triangle. The height is the distance from the base to the top. So in this case, it was the side. If we look at this triangle, our base again is in blue, but if you look at the little right angle symbol, it's actually outside of the triangle. So our dotted line is going straight up vertically, and it's actually outside of the triangle, but that's our height. This is a triangle a little bit more like a traditional one we're used to seeing. Again, the base is in blue, but the height is the dotted line. It's inside of the triangle, and again, you can see the right angle is showing us where the height of this triangle would be. With triangles, there's two different formulas that we can use to find the area. The first is base times height divided by 2. The second formula is 1 half times the base times the height. Now, both of these are the exact same uh, formula. And you might ask yourself, well, how is that possible? If you divide by 2 or if you multiply by 1 half, you get the same answer. A question I get a lot is why do we have to divide by 2 or multiply by 1 half to find the area of a triangle? <clears throat> if we look at this rectangle here, this rectangle has a base of 6 centimeters and a height of 4 centimeters. So when we multiply these two together, we get 24 centimeters squared. So there's like 24 little squares there, each a centimeter by a centimeter. But if I decide to take this rectangle and draw a diagonal line, and basically, I'm going to create a new triangle here. This triangle will have the exact same base as the rectangle, 6, the exact same height, 4. <clears throat> but you can look at this and you can tell that the area is half. And it is. And to get that, basically what we're doing is we're either dividing by 2 or we'd have to multiply this by 1 half. And that's how we can get the area of a triangle. If you want to model area of a triangle, just cut the base in half. So for example, this triangle here, we cut our base in half, we take our 10 by 10 triangle, turn it into a 5 by 10 rectangle, or an area of 50. This next triangle has a base of 8, height of 4. Again, cut the base in half, rearrange it. Now we have a 4 by 4 rectangle, which has an area of 16. On this triangle, we're going to take it and we're going to cut it, uh, the two different bases in half. And we're going to take our 10 by 4 triangle, rearrange it so we have a four, 5 by 4 rectangle, which have an area of 20 centimeters squared. Next, we have three different triangles that we're going to find the area of. And we're going to use both formulas, base times height divided by 2, and 1 half times base times height, to kind of show you how this works. So this triangle has a base of 12, height of 4. So you can see on this one, we're going to go 12 times 4, we get 48 centimeters squared, divide it by 2, and that's going to give us an area of 24 centimeters squared. Now, when we use our next formula, we're going to multiply the 1 half, we'll multiply it by the base, in this case it's 12, and then we'll multiply it by 4, the height. Now, first we, would, we can multiply 1 half times 12, that will give us 6. And so we're going to take 6 times 4, and just like the first problem, it gives us 24 centimeters squared. This is a right triangle. The base is 8. Height is 3. So just like before, we're going to take 8 times 3, so base times height. It's going to give us 24 centimeters squared. We'll take that 24 centimeters squared, divide it in half, and that will give us 12 centimeters squared. Now, when we go to do the next one, we'll go 1 half times the base, which is 8, times the height, which is 3. We'll multiply the 1 half times the base, and that's going to give us 4. 
4 times 3 is 12, so the area is 12 centimeters squared. So again, both of them work. Our final example is this one where the height is kind of outside of the, the base of the triangle. But our base is 10 centimeters, our height is 4 centimeters, so we have an area of 40 centimeters squared. Now, we're going to take that divided by 2, and that will give us 20 centimeters squared for this triangle. Using the other formula, 1 half times 10 times 4, we'll multiply 1 half times 10 and get the 5, and then 5 times 4 will give us 20 centimeters squared, just like the first one we did. Here are a couple of tips to make finding the area of a triangle simpler. Can't find the base and the height? Just turn your paper and a lot of times you can find it real easy. Another thing is when you're calculating the area of the triangle, like in this example, you're going one half times five. When you do that, you get the decimal 2.5. And so you have to take 2.5 times 14. If you would just merely rearrange the five and the 14 and make it one half times 14 times five, when you take one half times 14, you get seven. And then it turns into seven times five. A much easier problem, you don't have to deal with any decimals. So you're allowed to rearrange numbers when you multiply. Take advantage of that if you can. Thanks for watching the show. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, give us a little thumbs up down below. Um, if you are considering subscribing, that would be awesome. We come out with new videos all the time on topics about math. Um, if you have a topic you'd like us to make a video about, just leave it in the comments down below. Thanks a lot, and we'll catch you next time. What? We're allowed to eat the props.